Good morning, night, evening, everybody. Welcome to another science video. Today, we're going to be learning about the four Earth spheres. This is the first part in a mini-series that I'm doing for a science project. Hooray! The first thing we're going to learn about today is what the four Earth spheres are. Also known as the geospheres, there are four of them four main ones at least. Each one has several smaller ones that we will discuss in later videos if you decide to stick around that long. The first sphere is known as the geosphere in some cases, but other cases it is known as the lithosphere. This is all the solid material on and in Earth, all the solid non-living material to be specific. It includes the crust, the mantle, the liquid metal core, and the solid inner core of Earth. And also all those unsuspecting rocks that you kick around waiting for the bus every morning. The hydrosphere is all the water on Earth. That means it's all the oceans, clouds, and the mosquito breeding puddles that you despise so much. Speaking of mosquitoes, they are included in the third sphere known as the biosphere, which includes all of the life on Earth. All the bacteria, humans, and yes, mosquitoes. The atmosphere is all the air and gaseous matter of Earth. The second topic we're going to be discussing is the interactions between each of these spheres. But first we have to understand what Earth is. Earth is a system. I know some of you may already know what a system is, but I'm going to define it anyway. A system is a collection of independent parts within a defined boundary. This collection of independent parts, all of the four spheres, and their subspheres, and all of the other bits within the subspheres. A crucial part of the interactions in these systems is called events. Events can be natural, such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Or they can be caused by humans, like pollution. These events can cause changes or be the result of changes. Small events can be observed locally, and large events can be observed worldwide. Examples of small events are forest fires and floods. Examples of large events are the El Nino effect and ozone depletion. The cause-effect relationship of these events is called an interaction. This diagram shows what spheres can contribute to the cause of an event, and how the event can in turn affect these spheres. Here is the same diagram, but with a few more arrows. These arrows show how the different spheres can interact with one another as a result of an event. Sometimes these interactions between spheres can cause chain reactions, which can in turn lead to another event. The third thing we're going to learn about today, the final thing, is Earth System Science Analysis. So, let's say there was an event. The first thing that Earth System Science Analysis, Analysis would ask themselves is how many spheres were involved in causing the event. The second thing they would ask themselves is how did the event affect the spheres? The third question they would ask is, how did the other spheres interact with one another as a result? Let's practice. Say there was a landslide. This landslide was caused by rain. The rain fell on dry land. So that's our first question. How many spheres were involved in causing the event? Two, the hydrosphere and geosphere. Second question, how did the event affect the spheres? Well, let's say the landslide fell down and blocked off a road. This would prevent humans from walking along it or driving. But let's also say that the landslide took out maybe some brush and killed a couple scorpions. So, the answer to number two is the event affected the biosphere by blocking off the road and killing some wildlife. And three, how did the other spheres interact with one another as a result? Well, as a result, the biosphere, the humans, would have to clear away the dirt for the road. 
This is just an example of how a small event can cause interactions between spheres. Now, it's time to wrap up. Today we learned about the four spheres, the events that cause the sphere interactions, and Earth System Science Analysis. If you have any questions about what you saw today, please leave a comment. If you need a review, just go back in the video. It isn't going anywhere. So, have fun with your new knowledge. Stay tuned and check out the rest of the series. I hope to see you there.